Good morning, friends. We have had a busy week over here, a really, really good week. Our tree is all up, looking, looking so pretty back there, but it feels really good that today is going to be a day spent at home, getting, some, getting a good school morning in, because we've had a good week this week, but school has been kind of lacking. We've been doing it in the afternoon, or just doing a bit in the morning, a bit in the afternoon. So today, we're home, and we'll get a good school day in. I am wearing my super comfy sweatshirt dress, like, how cozy is that? Yes, there's a game all over the floor, but um, the kids are outside right now. I was going to show them, but they're way back there. Look at them shoveling the driveway. The girls are out there too. They're just on the other side of the driveway. <laughs> Maybe shoveling and playing, but uh, are you going to see them fight here? You might. You might catch something like that, but they've gotten a lot done. They shoveled all the way up to our front door here, all the way down the driveway. <laughs> There may be a snowball fight happening. <laughs> I got breakfast dishes washed. I'm gonna wash out this sourdough jar. Let's fill that up a little bit more. It's such a task cleaning sourdough off of things, but I transferred my sourdough over here into this bigger jar. I like that this jar has a lid and I'm looking forward to being able to store a bit more sourdough in my jar. So this one, like, two cups max. Pretty sure this one would hold more like four cups, maybe even six cups. So I don't have to be quite so on top of always using my sourdough when it gets to two cups because I can fill it. I can fill it with more. Also this, I don't know if you guys have ever spotted this in my videos. This has been on the counter for the past, I want to say like two months. I had meat sitting on the counter one day defrosting and then like the, the label stuck. Isn't that crazy? I've been scrubbing at it and like every few days I'll just scrub it and I think a tiny bit comes off. But if you guys have any more tips, I mean, I really don't care about this countertop, which is why I haven't been too worried about it, but I, I kind of do want to get it off. I'm still doing an electrolyte drink every day. So I ran out of my old one. It was good, but can I open this? First time opening this, so it's definitely not a one-handed task here. So I just ordered a different one to try something different. I will say the one I had, and I think this is across the board, they're so sweet. So it's it's uh, sweetened with stevia, but um, I would just gulp it down. Like the flavor was fine, but very sweet. And I think that's just how they all are. I don't know if they sell any like unsweetened. Is there a, there it is. Uh, an unsweetened kind, but this is the kind we're doing now. I think it's a lemon lime flavor, isn't it? Is that what that says down there? Lemon lime? So every morning I just take a scoop of this. I just put a scoop into my water and that's how I start my morning. We'll see how well this mixes too. That's always interesting to find out. I am pleasantly surprised. This is much less sweet than I was thinking it would be. It still has that like interesting stevia aftertaste. Like it's not a drink that I drink cause like, oh, I just love it. I want to have a drink every day. It's really just for the hydration. And so it doesn't matter so much, but I like this one. I like this flavor better than my last one. Everyone else came in, but Simeon is still out there. And I'm just gonna leave him, cause why not? He's making a big old snowball. Just starting into our rocks and minerals study. And I'm having my coffee this morning in Andrew's mug. And this is just bringing back all the good memories from our vacation this summer. We're just sitting down to do our read aloud time now. I just started reading this book to the kids. The Green Glass House. So far, it has been very exciting, and there's a lot happening in each chapter. There's a bit of a mystery going on, and it's been a great read aloud for the older kids, and for the younger kids too, actually. First off, I just love this view. The kids playing beside the Christmas tree. There's just something so cozy and magical about the Christmas season. So, 
I'm gonna show you what the kids are playing with though. Um, we got these boxes from Joy Cat. This box here, the kids are just unboxing. It's all of these magnet blocks. Wesley has been enjoying playing with this one lately. It's this sight and spell box. So it comes with all these little letter tiles. Are you looking for the last letter that you need? These are all just CVC words, consonant, vowel, consonant words. At the back, it shows the spelling. Good work. What does that say? Cat. And I did that. You're gonna do bat, and bat rhymes with cat, doesn't it? Yep. So we have a couple of these boards. We love finding good quality, well-made, educational toys that just pairs with homeschooling so well. Especially for Wesley, he's five. He His school day is completed in a very short length of time. So often while the other kids are finishing up school, he will just be playing with a little educational game like this, and it's great extra practice for him. If you are looking for some educational toys for Christmas gifts, sorry for all the background noise. These kids are all, you know, playing as I'm talking here and I asked them to be quiet, but you know, it's hard to be silent. Um, if you're looking for some educational toys, even just last minute gift ideas for your kids, I will link Joy Cat down below. I do have a coupon code. Oh, here, hold it up so we can see it. So we can all see it. Very nice, I love that. I do have coupon codes for Joy Cat that will all be down below in my description box. Thank you, Joy Cat, for sponsoring today's video. My sourdough is looking really nice and happy over here in its new jar. I'm just waiting for my water to boil because I am about to have a tea. Charity's gonna have a tea with me. Are you gonna have a peppermint tea too? Yes. That's like my favorite kind by far. Oh, my favorite too. Um, during the winter, during the summer, all year long, you'd better believe you can find me drinking coffee. But I only drink tea over the fall and winter months, and so it's one of my favorite parts of the day is just quiet afternoon, cozy afternoon, drinking a tea. This tea is just what I needed this afternoon. I also have some bread baking in the oven right now, so you just go ahead and imagine what, what I'm smelling right now. <laughs> Fresh bread, smells delicious. My coffee is just so nice and warm. It's all about finding positive things in every season. I was talking to a friend about this recently because, <sighs> I don't hate the winter, um, but when I when it first starts getting cold, the first snow starts falling, I know it looks beautiful. It, it does, and I enjoy that. But it also brings just a little bit of dread knowing here we go again, because we don't get short winters. We, I could, I could do, you know, January, February, cold winter two months of it. We have, here where we live, December, you, it's very likely that you could go December, January, February, possibly even March, hardly going above freezing. Uh, and so it's just gray, it's cold, it's just a little bit miserable. And so if it was a short winter, I think I could, just endure it and be like, you know what, my, my mood is down, eh, it's fine, it's just for a short period of time. But because we have such a long period of cold, I have to come up with some sort of, something that I enjoy and just um, draw on and notice those positive aspects of winter, because there are positive aspects. For instance, my afternoon tea, you know, that can be a routine that I enjoy in the winter that I can look forward to. Um, baking bread and, you know, having a nice warm house as the bread is baking and as I'm, as I'm drinking my tea and drinking my, my hot coffee and spending more time in the kitchen making soup and stew, 
having just a little bit more time in the afternoon to sit down and read a book. And I enjoy going out for walks in the winter. I don't love the thought of it. It's just like, eh, do I want to go out there? When I do go out for a nice long walk, even in the cold, get all bundled up. Um, the fresh air is so nice. The exercise is great for us. And so I just have to draw on those positives amongst some of the, amidst some of the negatives about the winter season. What about you guys? Do you enjoy the winter? Summer is my favorite season for sure. Um, but there are positives to every season. I feel like I show some aspect of my bread baking recently in almost every single video, but we eat a lot of bread. My kids are, are growing and one loaf of bread does not last as long as it used to. So I do bake a couple of loaves of bread. Let me turn off that oven there. A couple of loaves of bread at least, at least twice a week, sometimes three times a week. But this recipe is so simple, it's so good. I have it memorized now. So like repetition, once you make a recipe over and over again and you memorize it, it's just so, so simple to throw together. We're ending our afternoon with doing a Christmas craft. This is the Advent activity I wrote down for our Advent calendar today. And so, do you know what we need for this craft? No. We need red construction paper and we need green construction paper. This was one of those traditions that I would say growing up, we did every single year. And I don't think we've ever done it with these kids. So this is going to be fun. You got scissors out, good. We're going to make how do I know it's going to be fun? Because I loved doing it when I was a kid. And so I just have a good, a good idea that you are going to do the same. So we need our red and green construction paper. And we're going to make a chain, a little countdown to Christmas chain. And then every day we will cut off one of the links and that will help us to count down to Christmas. So why don't you and Charity make one together? The boys will make one together and so that everybody can have one in their room. So I'm gonna show you how we do it, okay? So just watch first. We're gonna take our, our scissors here. Good Let's job. The, yeah, the okay. chains are coming along. Sim, what are you doing? Are you writing the numbers too as yeah. we go? Okay, yep, chains. wrap it around and then I'll grab the stapler for you. Show me how you do it. Oh, stink. <laughs> it's not a quick process, but we'll get it. It's not hard, is it? Wesley even figured out how to use a stapler today. His first time, right? Okay, get it together. Get it together, kid, get it together. <laughs> All right, stapler for you. Okay, you hold that and I'll hold this. This is a little bit tricky. It's, just, it's faith uh, that Wes is not gonna, hold on, wait, 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 wait till it's in the right spot. Okay. All right, go. Push it. Oh, good work. I did it. Good. We keep passing the stapler back and forth. All right, guys, we're closing our video right here. Bye.
Hi. Everyone want to say bye? Look at this. We're closing the video with everybody together. Bye. That doesn't usually happen. Okay. Make sure again that you check out Joycat. I will link the company oh, down below and you can check out the, the great variety of educational toys they have. All right, girls. Oh, Elijah doesn't care bye. to say bye. Elijah, are you going to say bye? Bye. 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 No, we're still not done. We'll finish. See you guys.